been a weird, weird week. It is, where are you going? Where do you think you're going? You're meant to be the star of the show again now. No, she is not having it. She is a, not an on-camera dog. She's like, no, mum, I've put that off behind me. I'm not having it anymore. <laughs> anyway, it's been a crappy week. I am coming at you on Friday, 3rd of July. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon. My day has just, it's been long. It's been a long week. You know when you have those weeks where you're really ready to put them behind you? That is me. So yeah, we're gonna have a nice weekend together. I've just finished filming an IGTV this morning, which hopefully should be going up soon. It'll be going up on my Instagram this week. So yeah, it's this makeup look. So if you wanna know what products I use, then I will link my Instagram below. And even if it's not up yet, I feel like it will be in a couple of days so you can keep an eye out for it so that's why i'm wearing this dress like i'm just all dressed up for filming but not going anywhere at all what have i been up to this week apart from filming which you will have seen you will have seen my last get ready with me video i did a q a i've been feeling a bit sad so i haven't really vlogged very much but i did go to mns Emma's home the other day and I got some bits. I've really started this week kind of thinking about a few accessories for the house. So hopefully a few bits will be arriving maybe next week. I think home stuff is going to take a while to get to me, which is why I haven't really bothered until now because I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with the house. And I have naturally gone in a very different direction to what we thought anyway. So I'm glad I didn't like order too much before I moved, ready for it to arrive kind of around like now or a week ago because my vision now I'm in here is very different to what I thought it was going to be. But yeah, really excited for things to start arriving. Arriving. I also need to start planning my office room this week. I feel like I want to give it a bit more of my attention than I originally thought. I need to start planning up my wardrobe room as well. But if I'm honest, I think it's going to be a very practical room full of storage because this house doesn't have loads of storage like i knew that from the beginning it's got like one cupboard in the hallway and a little bit in the kitchen so i want to build in as much space as I can for whilst I'm here and just make it really practical. It doesn't need to be like super, super fancy or glitzy, just a really nice practical room. And it's quite a dark room as well. So it's not somewhere that I feel like you guys will see a lot, maybe in bits and bobs, but it's not like the lightest, brightest room. So not the best for on camera. You guys will mostly be shouting at me. I can't see your outfits. Yeah, definitely not gonna be a filming space, but a more practical one for me. And the office, I want to be a really nice, open fresh space to actually work in and i find that i tend to like stick the office room just wherever and well like my last flat didn't even have an office but i like to work in a space that is really bright and airy and i've really learned that i don't do very well facing a wall so i need to factor that in and i kind of have a few ideas so i'm really excited to get mood boarding that i also have been looking at potential flooring this week that was something i did on monday Monday night, Ryan's been looking at carpet for his house. I kind of talked a little bit about the situation because I know there's been a lot of questions in my Q&A and get ready with me that I posted on Thursday. So I'll link that in the info box if you want to go and listen to me chat. It's a long one, so grab a drink. But yeah, I talked a little bit about that situation, but Ryan's been looking at carpet for his house and I have been looking at potential carpet samples. I'm still not sure. I might do LVT throughout all of the rooms. I'm kind of weighing up like what would feel right. So lots of you, when I talked about it on Instagram, kind of said go LVT throughout. I really see the pros and cons of doing either one of them. So yeah, it's a bit of a weird one for me. All I can hear is that little pinter patter. She's like, why are you standing in the hallway? Where are you going? Stop that right now. I'm not leaving, don't worry. But anyway, this is what I've been looking at. I really love this. I feel like this is a very niche option and not everyone is gonna love it. As with textured carpet as well, to be honest, like I see it a lot within the groups of people that I know, but I don't feel like it's widely that popular as opposed to this. But like I've said before, gray makes me very, very sad and I also just hate when you hoover and you get them all oh, the lines just make me sad so yeah I really love this one I'll show you guys what they are just in case you are interested so that's the info for that one and this is the info for this one I really like this I just think it's very cool but I think in terms of being practical this is not so much apparently the sun like can very easily change its color and if you walk on it with wet feet it can also kind of mark it so it might look super pretty but probably not the best option to go for but i do really like it i think with the vibe that i wanted to go for it would have been very cool so those were my options or this this room here <laughs> is still full of boxes most of my boxes now like annoyingly are half empty so it looks like the room is just like filled with stuff but it's actually just like 
really not i just really need to get on with it but annoyingly until i get all my storage situations solutions kind of ordered and installed and put together i can't really take out lots of the bits so i think at some point i'm just gonna spend a day like compiling boxes if that makes sense just to make everything look a little bit neater and more manageable i think there's a few bits that can go in the loft as well which i kind of i'm putting stuff in the loft in dribs and drabs but yeah i would really like to get this room sorted so i don't know if you can see this room is a kind of awkward shape yeah you can see it kind of goes in and out a little bit so i think across here i would like to have cupboards as you can see there is a bit here i think that might be like maybe encased piping or something because i don't really know what that's doing anyway it uh is very annoying but i would like to have maybe shelving here the radiator is very annoying because normally with most houses you have the radiators under windows which hasn't been done which kind of gives you another wall to play with but I'm, i don't have that here so it's going to be a bit of an awkward room to play with but it's fine if i was using these as bedrooms they would obviously be so nice and easy but yeah i'm thinking like shelving here and then a desk that is either like here but in the middle and two computers can like face each other or here that goes above the radiator and two computers or two people can face each other just because i really don't like facing a wall it's like the number one way to not be productive so yeah that's what i'm thinking and then we've got a bit of space over here to work with but right now it's just in need of some tlc new carpet the walls in this room were painted i think they might need another lick as you will know with the moving blocks uh the painter broke his arm halfway through so everything's a little bit half done but it's fine i also need to get my pictures ordered for the frames up here i can't remember if i showed you these updates i've definitely showed you on instagram but in case you haven't seen i've got these three ikea frames on the wall and i've also just ordered my new lights which go up here and then up here in the living room i need to put my paint away but actually we need another lick of paint around this one i think the walls are so white that the camera can't actually focus in here but yeah this is what it looks like with the lights on so i've got dimmer switch on these lights as well so they can give the tiniest little glow will be a lot brighter so pretty i love how the light comes out so gorgeous so yeah i'm really really happy with those and then we have this light up here which i have also ordered and it should be arriving today apparently i don't know if i believe that nothing's going right this week so we shall see i'm just gonna like breathe and put positive vibes out there into the world that that is gonna arrive so in addition to mood boarding today and also editing the igtv i was just telling you about i also am going to take you through a few books when ryan and i were in tesco last night we ended up going through the book section because we both needed a notebook but i ended up getting distracted by the books this is my notebook and i am going to be using this as kind of a food diary slash a life diary basically this is my skin diary because as you guys will know if you've watched my videos for quite some time my skin used to be decent it was never perfect it was perfect when i was younger i used to have the best skin up until i hit like my 20s weirdly coincides with um sorry i feel like i'm like slightly flashing my boobs i don't know why i'm worried because i'm always in a bikini anyway but <laughs> you know so yeah which kind of coincided with being on youtube but my skin has always been kind of pretty good and i did think for a long time that it was chocolate that affected my skin and i definitely saw a correlation between the two weirdly in 2018 i could start eating chocolate again and it wasn't freaking my skin out and i was like happy days for some reason like my intolerance to it has like disappeared and i lived a very happy life early like basically 2018 through till 2019 and i really abused everything in my life <laughs> i really abused my skin that year kind of in terms of its care i was very like relaxed with it but also in terms of like what i was eating and stuff like i would go out lots of the pub with my friends and i didn't really eat that much in terms of vegetables and i ate loads of chocolate and my skin was great i look back at a video at the beginning of 2019 and my skin looked fat fast forward six months and it started to get a bit rocky again and then by like september october 2019 it just looked a mess and it's been a mess really ever since so what i am trying to ascertain is what has changed in my life over the past year and try and like narrow it down and see what helps what doesn't so i have a list of suspects on the first page so we have acids because acids have always kind of plagued my skin a little bit but not in the way that my skin at the moment i've got a lot of makeup on a lot of makeup but i have around five active spots on my face at the moment which is less than normal but i've got one here one here one here 
one here and there was one up here and i felt one coming through here this morning so i'm currently in week one of no spf so i literally have been like not going outside and if i have gone outside i've literally run to the car and i've had a hat on like a baseball cap so if you ever see me walking around and you're like oh that's that's that girl off youtube but she's wearing a baseball cap who does she think she is i'm not wearing it because i'm trying to be incognito i'm wearing it because i'm trying to shield my face from the sun because right now i'm just trying to ascertain as to whether spf is a contributor to my bad skin. The reason I'm talking about this today is because I thought this might be helpful for some of you who maybe are struggling with your skin as well because I know how sometimes really helpless you feel when your skin just will not give it a break. <laughs> I really feel that at the moment just really really helpless so whenever anything's going wrong in my life i just like to be able to come up with a practical solution for it so i thought this might help some of you so this is my this is all i've got this is my practical solution that if things get worse or things just don't stop i can take to a doctor and be like dude i've cut out everything in my life like <laughs> help a girl out i don't want to give up spf because i'm such an advocate for it i think it is like the best thing you can do for your skin but just in the meantime i need to figure out what is going on someone mentioned before to me that spfs can not be great for your skin but try a mineral one i had a mineral one and i just exclusively tried using that and nothing was helping so now i've just like stopped using spf I'm on like day three or four of not using acids now, which was my one that I put on the top. I can't tell you the last time I had chocolate. I think the last bit of chocolate I had was Nutella in my coffee. I want to say a week ago now. So I'm not sure if it is chocolate. And I started really decreasing my chocolate intake around Easter. And I kind of felt it helped a bit, but it hasn't fully. I'm seeing what happens with the taking it out of my coffee and praying that it gets better. Because if it's chocolate, like if it's something that I can just stop eating, that would be ideal. You also have sugar and dairy. Again, if I can just cut those out, I don't want to. But I think eating vegan, and I've been eat eating vegan much more recently and will just try and help my skin. But being vegan has definitely, or eating slightly more vegan because I'm not vegan. I'm not vegan. Just really need to lay that out there. But cutting out dairy a lot has really affected how my stomach responds to dairy and therefore I think that's definitely going to come out on my skin as well. So that is a potential to look at. I'm kind of starting with the, basically I don't want to start everything too much. So I'm kind of starting things in bits because I don't, I don't want to go on to like sugar, dairy, all junk food if it's not those things so this is why i'm kind of staggering my stripping back of things so that i can really see and the way i'm keeping track of that i usually in terms of like keeping track of like moods and stuff like that i always use my clue app i really really rate it it's not like the most in-depth app for lots of things so i decided to start keeping a log of literally everything that goes into my body <laughs> so everything that i eat and drink and taking into account my suspects I'm like literally writing down like how many sugars are in things. I've got my skin and I'm monitoring like my incoming spots and actives so that if I can see like the incoming lessening and then the actives lessening, then I know I'm kind of onto something. I've been keeping a note of what I'm using and I generally use the same culprits over and over so I can kind of easily start eliminating them out. I'm just keeping everything very consistent at the moment and very minimal. And whether I am wearing makeup, makeup doesn't seem to be a factor. I could not wear makeup and my skin would still be fine for the most part. I haven't noted one thing down that needs to go on this list, which is coffee. So up until about a year ago, I would have instant coffee pretty much every day unless I was going to a coffee shop, which wasn't daily. But over the past like six six months for sure and on and off for three months before that i've been having freshly ground coffee on a daily basis and i'm kind of wondering if that might be it as well so basically if my skin doesn't clear up i'm gonna have to give up coffee hence why i'm really keeping track of literally everything like everything i eat everything i drink it's all gonna be in this cute little book which i got from tesco yeah so hopefully that will be helpful to some of you if you are kind of in the same situation i just think it's like the best thing that you can do is to like really try and find some kind of cause and effect even for me if it is because another thing on my list is birth control even if that is something that i have to look at i i just need to know now because over the past nine months, something has been slowly ruining my face. Like it is becoming so scarred and it's difficult because if it is acid, then that scarring is, I'm literally causing scarring, trying to get rid of scarring. So I just need to know now what it is and find out what it is so that I can lay the F off and try and give the skin some time to heal on a happier note. <laughs> and but slightly related. I picked up Caroline's book. Someone actually DM'd me being like, did you not get sent that? And I was like, yeah. 
it's on its way but i moved house so that caused a bit of an issue and uh also i just like to support i think when it comes to your mates it's good to like buy their stuff even if you are probably going to be sent it as well so lauren can have my scent copy and i will keep the one that i purchased i also picked up little fires everywhere which i'm really excited to read before the tv series let me know if the tv series is just actually better but i always feel like it's better to read the book and i still weirdly really enjoy watching films and tv shows after i've read the book but it's really hard to read a book after you've watched the tv show or the film i also picked up nine perfect strangers which is by leanne Mor moriarty 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 god what is wrong with me who is the author of big little lies which i loved i need to finish queenie and the perfect wife before i move on to any of these but i just couldn't resist i also picked up shari lapinas i think that's how you say her name but yeah this is someone we know i liked the couple next door they're a bit like kind of throwaway reads like sometimes you're like this is so far-fetched but I still can't put it down and then i also picked up blood orange which has been recommended to me on amazon about 600 times so i thought i'd pick it up and these were all like two for eight pounds so couldn't resist so yeah that is what i picked up i also have an asos order which arrived whilst i was having my lunch and i'll take you through that in a minute but i really need to tidy up my room right now so i'm gonna get on with that and i'll be back with you in a second very happy Nala because she's now able to get onto my bed and I'm going to take you through this little ASOS order. This ASOS order kind of happened because I went onto ASOS just to buy some of their simple black face masks. I know everyone has so many opinions on face masks and the ones of ASOS aren't medical grade or anything but I feel like it's better to have one than to not have one so I just wanted to pop on there and buy a face mask and obviously I couldn't just buy a face mask because this is me we're talking about so I have a few things this in particular I'm very excited about it might not fit me in terms of my height but I thought I'd give it a go anyway by the way none of this was gifted I am an ASOS brand ambassador however I paid for this with my own money because as you guys will know I just really like ASOS and have done <laughs> four years on this channel so yeah this is the dress it is quite like cut outy so to hold it up is basically impossible it will not look cute but I'll pop a picture of it and what it's meant to look like <laughs> so you can kind of see it might be a bit long for me we'll see holding it up to myself I might just get away with this but I love the color and it's a linen material and I've not seen a linen dress in this color and I thought it'd be the perfect dress it's kind of like it's a bit like this one where it's quite dressy but I can get away with it around the house for some reason I'm not really sure maybe some people are watching this like no honey you literally look like you're going to like something fancy every time i see you in that but i don't think it looks too fancy it's like that nice mix of like summery but very very pretty and this is kind of a similar dress so i'm really excited to try that on with you guys so i am really excited about these so everyone is really into the hermes dupes at the moment i'm obviously not going to spend a fortune on hermes shoes right now even if i bought them pre-loved i have a pair of ysl sandals which are kind of similar but in a different kind of shape and they're not super super wide whereas these are a little bit wider i thought since lots of the high street retail are doing Hermes dupes that I would pick these up. June also do a really good dupe but they looked almost identical to this and I was doing an order on ASOS anyway so I thought I would pick these ones up. The quality might be slightly different I'm not sure I would love to see if any of my friends have the June ones and kind of compare but it's literally the exact same look but for less so I was very happy because I just really like the style of sandal it's very very cute and very timeless and then we have this top which I love it's really beautiful burnt orangey colour I love it. So it's a like a cropped, almost like a corset fit around the body and then it has really stretchy sleeves and you can either wear it up top. But I think if my memory serves me right from the website, it's meant to be worn off shoulder and I love that kind of vibe. And tops like this work really nicely. Like if you're a fan of high-waisted bikini bottoms, I would really enjoy styling this on holiday with a pair of black high-waisted bikini bottoms if i wanted to just like have my arms a bit more covered i think that could be really cute it's obviously a very situation specific kind of styling but it also works really really beautifully i think with like a pair of linen white shorts which i have i'll also show you because i have a few other bits just from various other 
places you know when you see like a one-off thing where you're like oh i like that but you don't like do a whole order i have a few bits from like places that i've just picked up so i'll show you those as well and then we have my face mask this isn't gonna make me feel claustrophobic oh ooh. i went for black just because i wear makeup i would love to have a nude one like i've seen the kardashians wearing like really nice nude ones might still pick one up but I was aware that I wear makeup quite a lot of the time and that would probably be a nightmare. See, so yeah, I just thought I'd start off with black and see how I go. So these are two shirts I picked up from the White Company. We've got, they're both the same style. So they are kind of like a V-neck and they button up the button start down here. This one I really like because it kind of has different thread colors kind of running through it. And then we have the white one, which I just love because I love white. And I got them both in a UK 12. I sized up so that they would be more like, floaty because on the model they're a bit more of a they're kind of like a oversized fit but not like super oversized whereas I wanted it so if I wanted to I could kind of wear them with some shorts underneath but have them look a bit more like I'm just wearing a shirt if that makes sense they're shorter at the front longer at the back so I think if I wanted them as a full on dress I'd have to size up some more but they are really gorgeous they feel amazing they feel like they're a really relaxed piece when I have them on which obviously then it does give that effect but this especially the white one I've been wearing my ASOS white boyfriend shirt a lot but it's definitely more of a like it's a proper shirt material so it's a more like crinkly less comfortable fit than this this is so soft and so lovely so they're really nice for me to wear just when I'm like at home doing my stuff or in the garden bits like that they look really nice with my little um you can't see them but my little straw hats which are perfect for keeping the sun out of my face so yeah they're just a really nice piece that kind of work as a full outfit when I'm like pottering in my garden. This is more of the uh, gardening one than, than this because white. They're a little bit more expensive, but I think so worth it. They just, the quality of them feels really, really, really beautiful. And then we have, I'm just gonna button them up. I did not prep this earlier. I have this pair of white linen shorts from And Other Stories. They have this little kind of red through buckle, which is in like a very light tortoise shell color they're really gorgeous and i like wearing them please hold please hold with <laughs> these tops so i picked these up off of h&m and these were the kind of tops that i wanted and h&m had some white linen shorts but they just they sell out so quickly but i envisioned like tops like this tucked into the white linen shorts and i really like that vibe so yeah i just got the white linen shorts from somewhere else but ordered the h&m tops they're like tank tops but like a fine very loose knit so very very breathable really nice and easy piece for the summer and again will look really nice with my straw hats yeah just like a really nice like uk summer look like we can really get away with that like knitted vibe in the warmer weather over here whereas on holiday we just obviously can't and i got a black one which i just think is very 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 versatile and these obviously go really nicely with skirts and shorts so yeah now we can try things this dress is so cute do i wish i was a little bit taller yeah 100 percent. because i feel like on the model it was up here and there is quite a lot of material going on around the arms which i kind of like i do wonder if i could like there's a lot of material here so i do wonder if maybe an eight would have been better i got a size 10 in this but i wouldn't want it to be too tight it's that tricky decision of do you go for the size down but then fit i always just feel like a looser fit sometimes just feels a little bit more premium i just feel like if things are too tight excuse you they don't look like as great as they would if they were just a little bit looser so it's really really tricky but i love the top i love that shape i love the back it's so pretty so pretty again i love i just love the color it looks really cute with the shoes my tan has definitely rubbed off my feet i need to get my tan on yeah it's very cute i'd love to hear your thoughts on what you think on this i'm kind of in two minds about it so yeah let me know what you think the top with the and other stories shorts i'm actually thinking the top might look better maybe with a creamier something maybe like an oatmeal colored linen i feel like the white is a little bit stark but we'll roll with it for illustrative purposes right now because these are like the perfect high waistedness to kind of wear with this top because it kind of finishes almost in exactly the same spot and i've just paired it again with the new look sandals but yeah it's gorgeous and it's like a linen-y material as well which is so nice and feels so summery so shorts with the nude knitted top I love this top. I love the way it falls, especially when it's like tucked into the shorts. And I like how low cut the neckline is and you can alter that really, really easily by kind of just like shifting your straps a bit more backwards and then tucking the back in a little bit more. But I really like it just low cut and it's really slouchy. The two together just give a really, really nice relaxed vibe and I'm really into it. And this is the black 
knitted top. As with most things that are black, like the black dye does make it fit like a little bit smaller, but it's still, it's still obviously super slouchy because I think I got a medium, so they are gonna be a little bit more slouchy, but I would say even if I got a small, they would be quite loose. They're made to be that quite loose fit which is really, really nice. And I think it would go nicely with a pair of black sandals as well as the tan. And with anything with these shorts, I actually really would like to take this belt out and put a brown belt with it. I think especially with the orangey off the shoulder top, it would help to marry the orangey off the shoulder top and the shorts together really nicely. So there's definitely something you can do. This has got belt loops, so it could really easily be taken out. And that is it for things I've bought lately. Books, clothes, and that is everything we have from like the past couple of weeks. I think it's been a while. Dog walking attire consists of this yoga top. I think this is an ASOS one. Girlfriend cycle shorts and random grey t-shirt. T-shirt? Sweatshirt? Nike trainers and a low braid so that my baseball cap will fit over the top. It's kind of cute though, I like it. <laughs> Hi, you going for a walk? Yeah. I did it. It's literally so windy outside right now. Regret. <laughs> Serious regret. I have a real glow on my cheeks. This makeup look. I really enjoyed this makeup look today. I feel like a bit of it's got rubbed off from where I was trying on clothes, but I'm, I really like it. Especially the eye look. It's a little bit pinky and I haven't done that in a really long time. So yeah, cute. Keep an eye out for that because I need to edit that IGTV tonight. I need to go to the shop and get some dinner. I thought I would just quickly show you. I got new jars, so my old ones from Ikea. Ryan has them at his now, because he's always really liked them. And I saw these in M&S and I was like, I love those. So we've done a trade. It kind of works fine for now. I keep most things in a cupboard, because I just feel like with this kitchen, there's kind of a lot going on tile-wise and stuff. So I wanted to keep it quite minimal. But yeah, with the future kitchen that I have planned, if I do decide to redo this kitchen, which probably won't be for so long, I'm gonna live in this place and like before I commit to anything and save those pennies. But I feel like with what I would like to do in a kitchen and the kind of styles that I like in a kitchen, they will work well and be quite timeless and they might work nicely actually being out. It's a little bit later. This one is very noisily eating her dinner and I am gonna do my evening routine. This is what I do every evening now. Plant mum life. Look at those little grapes growing. <laughs> Got my lemon tree, which has had to move places to be shielded from the wind, but we have a flower growing, which is amazing. Got a weird little baby lemon growing here. Another flower there. I'm really excited about this lemon here. I think it's going to be a good one. And maybe this one. This one looks like a good one. Hello everybody, it is Saturday afternoon. I've had a very productive morning. Morning? Day? <laughs> it's like three o'clock. Yeah, okay, the day's really run away with me. This morning, I went to Pets at Home with Nala, which was an experience because it was full of children and she hates them, but look at this! <laughs> I decided Nala needs to be the one carrying her own treats, so <laughs> she has a backpack and yes, I am a cruel, cruel dog mum, but she looks so cute in it. I'm gonna have to show you guys, oh my God. Basically, it's probably not gonna be used very, very often before anyone like is up in arms over it. But you know when there is cute stuff? I could not, it's so funny. So yeah, we went and got her some essentials. I needed a new dog brush. She needs a brush. Some dental sticks, little treat kind of bits. Dog shampoo, which is the one that I know the groomer uses and it smells glorious. It's the watermelon. I hot pet head. One. Oh my god, it smells so good. So yeah, I had a lot of fun in pets at home with Nana. Went to Argos, Ryan got a hoover, and then I came home and started, well, I actually started organizing my office and then remembered that I needed to mood board the office. Sorry, by the way, my face just looks so like dry. My lips are like, this is the color they go when they're really, really dry. I need to find my lip balm, I've misplaced it, it's, it's gone. But I'm aware that I look dry, mostly here, because my skincare has been doing bits. Skin, by the way, I'll show you. So yeah, my skin today, I have obviously a lot of old scarring, a lot of old spots, but for the first time in a really long time, not a single like new lump on my face. I, I could not be happier. I honestly could not be happier. And everything else is kind of like starting to fade as well. So I feel like I might be getting somewhere. I just need to pinpoint what the thing is or things are that have been upsetting my face. But I thought I'd just update you because there is nothing new. 
But anyway, I remember whilst I was clearing up the office, it's a slow, slow process because there's nowhere, like I said, there's nowhere for anything to go, but I definitely consolidated some boxes. There was some of Ryan's stuff in there, which I didn't know about. So that is now finding its way to its rightful home. And yeah, I actually started mood boarding the office and I already had a vague vision of what I wanted, but I just wasn't sure on a few things. And honestly, once I started slotting, basically I had a couple of options, but one of them was like, a safe option and then there was one that I was like this is a vibe and it's a bit out there and I'm just going to try it and as soon as I started kind of like slotting it into place I was like yeah this is what I want. It does need softening but I think I will do that with accessories more over anything else because I just find like sometimes when you try and furnish something softly it just there's no going back from that for one because furniture is expensive but also sometimes it can just look a little bit messy so I decided to go for the base work of the room being very clean and minimal and I'll still accessorize in a minimal way but I definitely think there are things that you can add to an environment that are maybe some more seasonal things fresh flowers things like that that you can swap in and out and they definitely help to soften it but I just thought a workspace should be smart so bearing that in mind I decided to eliminate parts of my mood board that were a bit more feminine and just go for something a bit cleaner but this is what we have. So as you can see, I've gone for a lot of woody tones. This is an actual picture of my flooring here, but I've decided to just kind of lay it over the gray carpet because I need to be able to kind of like envision it. I decided to go for, I wasn't sure whether to go for closed storage or like see-through storage. I decided closed would be a bit too nothingy. So I was looking at the Ikea Billy bookcases with like doors on them and Ikea actually do some really good little handles for them as well but I also really liked the look of open shelving and I think I can still get the storage that I need in this room even with the open shelving I will probably use the lower parts of the bookcases and have like baskets and bits to store anything that just can't really be like seen and I think this bookcase will actually work really well for filing and things like that and there's still going to be plenty of room over here for further storage this is just the room from one angle this is what i tend to do <laughs> with all of my mood boards so i actually use keynote or you could use powerpoint and the reason i use keynote is because there is a feature called instant alpha which i don't know if you can see it's where my mouse is over here and you can use it to basically like pick out a color and eliminate it so that's how i layer all of these things over an original picture of a room so that's the original and obviously you can tell it's been layered over but it just really helps to give you a good idea of what things will look like so i did it with the chandelier in my bedroom the difficulty is scaling so obviously the chandelier in my bedroom actually ended up being a bit more like this when you look at it i think but still cute the living room as you know has the lights up now that is what's going on there i would love to have a big ass vase in the living room. I also need to decide what I'm doing with these spaces here. That is gonna involve a little bit more, like less furnishing, more like structural work. I definitely wanna make more of a feature out of this because I don't really like just having the whole, and I don't want to put a wood burner in, so I need to make some decisions on how I want that to look. And then as you can see, I've got a potential sofa, which might not be the one, but that's just the vibe. And then I've also got coffee table, and because obviously you can't see that side of the room, I've just, lay these in but i know what that side of the room is going to look like and then we've also got another little bit here this is where i was swapping in and out different lighting so that i could see what it would look like so you're getting a sneak peek at the potentials but if i'm honest i don't think any of these are the one this is the closest that i have got to thinking yeah that might be the one the only thing is um, obviously i won't use a photo of my windows because privacy please i will have shutters here most likely so i need to make sure that whatever I pick goes with a room that has shutters and shutters, I don't know, I don't feel like they go with everything. So I'm kind of waiting. <laughs> this is gonna be something that really annoys you guys is this light will probably be the last thing in this room to be fitted because it needs to be right and I don't wanna end up buying a second one. So yeah, everything else is probably gonna get in that room before the light does, but I'm just very, very fussy with lighting. But again, the way I do this is i use the instant alpha tool on keynote and i just pick up the white get rid of it and then you can layer it over a picture and obviously you need to resize it and scale is difficult like i don't know really how big that's going to look but i just play about but yeah this is my office mood board so i've gone for some rustic wood lighting the theme obviously being like different woods but i decided to instead of going for a wood table because i just felt like it was too much i decided to go for a black 
desk. I really liked the idea of having a round table because I just think it's very like it's a nice communal workspace and the desk is going to sit kind of like to this wall or to a wall. I also want to have as per these are my original images that I decided to use as my inspo. So originally I was thinking of not having anything here except a wall of pictures but I actually decided that might be a bit too plain. I didn't think it would be really enough for me but yeah this was basically just to direct me to some kind of like soft rattan vibes which i kind of stayed away from but there's lots of like wood floor and natural materials here mixed with black and white photos so i've got the i think these will be the 50 by 50 ikea pictures and then i wanted wood and black as well and that looks very clean and i like the floral arrangements of both of those really i also had this as a potential as well this is my area where i put all of the potential things but this is kind of my final look for the room and I feel really happy with it actually. Here's Nala in her backpack. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> she actually thinks she's going out. She's like, oh God, I don't want to go out. By the way, she always looks terrified. <laughs> she's not a happy looking dog. Whenever we go out, she always like runs to you and she'll just sit at your feet because she's like, please carry me. <laughs> I, I demand to be carried. But yeah, she just always looks really scared. She very rarely looked happy unless like, you know, when you come through the door and your dog's like over the moon. She does that, but she always looks scared. Also guys, the backpack is detachable as well. So if you just like the harness and you want the backpack as a novelty, it's an option. So yeah, who's carrying their own poo bags now? You are. Good morning, everybody. I have realized that I forgot to outro this vlog. So this is me coming over here to say goodbye. I hope you're all doing really, really well and you had a great weekend and you enjoyed the vlog. I keep looking back at my mood board for the office and I'm really, really excited about it. This week, I think I'm gonna mock up my wardrobes. That's gonna be really exciting. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little sneak peek of what will hopefully be coming up. But yeah, that is it from me and I'll see you guys again very, very soon on Thursday to be specific. Love you, bye.